Hello, everyone. I'm so thrilled to be here. It's amazing. <laughs> I know that. Oh, my God. Super excited. So tonight we have our dear friend, um, Justin Dawson here. Um, he has uh, been playing with me now for, I think, a few years. Um, Feels like forever, right, David? It really, it really does. I mean, anyone who knows me, you get to know me a little bit. And then you're kind of part of the family. You get sucked in and you never get to leave. You do. Spaghetti and meatballs for life. Yep. You do. You get meals. You get the wine. It's not a bad... It's not a bad gig, really. He yeah. picks you up. He yeah. picks you out. I do. I he has a van. He, he just picks up a bunch of people he likes and then he drops them off. Uh, uh, sometimes not where they want to be, but it's still fine. <laughs> and then, of course, we also have my dear wife in the back on the couch. Here it goes. Fawn Cam yep. 2020. Oh, my God. Look at that. Fun back the there. In real quick, can do that. Um, she is here and she is ready to take the message. And of course, for those that can see, Stella has already joined. I'm sure Roxy will also join. Roxy's desperate to get my uh, to throw the ball. Yeah, so, and the the dogs will actually be tuning the guitars tonight. So if you want to see a dog tune a guitar, <laughs> you should just stick stick around because it could happen. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. So Justin's here, Jeff. Okay. Well. You know, I've known Justin for a while. I think the first time I ever ran into Justin was on a stage. Yes, it was. And um, I was a drummer at Stanley's Pub, the world-famous Stanley's Pub. He was a professor at this time. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't, I've already forgotten about that. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, I was playing a, a little gig there, and I was in the house band, I think, or maybe just that night. Can't remember. But I... Um, Justin came up and played. How old were you then? Like uh, I was 17. 17 years old and blew me away. It was awesome. Amazing bass player. Still love him like the day I met him. It was awesome. I had a great time. We really locked up quick musically. So I want to ask you a little bit about like what you what do you have going on around Cincinnati? I mean, I know lately it's been a little bit of a struggle and, and we're aware of like Eric Wozobacher trio that's yeah. one of my favorites i love everybody in that band so if you don't mind just telling us a little bit about what you what you do here in cincy yeah so uh right now i'm just you know in cincinnati i'm just a professional uh, bass player and musician uh, and i just i gig around town and around cincinnati and then around uh, the surrounding area and in indiana and kentucky and uh, before everything shut down i was working uh, with the eric Wilsobacher trio and quartet and last summer, actually, you know, last week, a year ago, we were at the Newport Jazz Festival in Rhode Island. Nice. Uh, and we played there. And then uh, uh, we, we did some other stuff as well. And then actually a month before that, last year, I was in Brazil playing and, uh, you know, playing with Brazilian musicians and then doing like a joint thing with Jazz Lincoln Center. That was really cool. And then, uh, you know, like right now it's pretty hard, but because uh, there's not a lot of gigs because of COVID. Uh, but right now, I'm very blessed to have... I have a gig every Wednesday night at, the, at a restaurant called The Baker's Table uh, from 6 to 8.30 with a band called The Jazz Coasters. And then I, you know, I play gigs with mainly whoever calls me right now. Uh, I've got Cafe Vivace, or like, which is a jazz club in Cincinnati, or uh, I, you know, other A lot of stuff. Yeah. I actually yeah. am impressed by <laughs> Justin because he's one of the few musicians I've seen posting about playing anything right now the only i the only it's thing i play though. it's all it's that's like, good yeah. yeah it's very much masked up you can wear a mask yeah. while he's playing yep. we're safe here right now the the thing uh, the only thing i really ever get to play is like craft macaroni and cheese on thursdays um and then it's like maybe steak night on fridays not sure just don't know what's gonna happen don't know if there'll be enough time but it's pretty sweet to see like some some people still out there working and doing stuff which my, you know, getting to know you a little bit more kind of led me to ask you to to play with Dave early on because I thought it would be a good fit. And I, I mean, beyond the bass playing, Justin's an extremely awesome human being, and that usually attracts me to people <laughs> beyond their bass playing. But he's got the best of both worlds. Um, so a lot. thank you, man. Oh man, yeah. not a problem at all. It's totally from the heart and true yeah. as could ever be. Yeah, um, so I want Dave to tell me a little bit about like 
your experience just getting to work with Justin early on and just ask him, you know, maybe ask him a little bit something about <laughs> what that was like from his perspective. Maybe it wasn't so cool. Maybe it was cool. We don't know. Yeah, so I feel like, to Jeff's point, Jeff's really introduced me to a lot of his friends that not only are, like, exceptional musicians. We had, you know, we had Brandon on a couple weeks ago. But I also think that kind of the rule is, are you, like, a super nice, positive human being? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of been the rule. That's the Venn diagram in the middle. It needs to be sweet musician on one side, nice human being on the other, and then me right in the middle. Um, yeah, can you be part of Dave's family moving forward, right? Um, yeah, and so I think... We were just talking about it over dinner. I feel like I met you like a few years ago. Yeah. I think we initially got together to play a show. At, that was going to be at the Listing Loon. Yeah. So we played at the Listing Loon a few years ago. And then we've been putting, I've been working on a record um, for a few years. And so I think you, you and I drove up to Columbus together. So what has that whole thing been working? Because I know that you do a lot of um, like jazz stuff. What's it been like working with a singer-songwriter? Well, it was pretty cool. I, I felt like I finally, I, it was like the first experience where I got to put on the uh, the side man, the side, or just like the professional, like I'm coming in, I got a job to do. And that was like my mentality coming in. Um, and then like just being friends with you and, you know, and Kristen and Jeff is like, oh man, it's like a family vibe. Definitely. And, uh, we just ate yeah, a sp yeah, full yeah, spaghetti ate, dinner. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm so, I'm so stuffed. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it like, it turned into more of like, Oh, you know, it's it's like uh, if you called me to do anything at any time, I'd be like, I'm down. You know? Oh, it's really great. Yeah, it's good um, to know. Um, uh, are you available September first? <laughs> but it's funny. I was gonna say because at first I, you know, I didn't. I have did. That I know that. And because I kept not learning his tunes, and oh. I remember I'd come to your house every week, and he's like, "You remember the tune?" I'm like, yeah, I know it. And then I would play it, and I'd be like, "What is it again?" And then you know, you'd have to constantly remind me. <laughs> and then, uh, and then you know, you didn't, you didn't never like, but I was like, finally, like two weeks before, I was like, all right, I gotta you know, learn these tunes and everything. And I came in and it was good. And then after that, I was, <laughs> it was just on my part. I was just like, <laughs> at first, it was just like, man, you know, yeah, I got it, you know. And I was like, nope, no, I don't have it. But, There's no way this guy with a left-handed guitar upside down could ever school me in a tune. <laughs> yeah. No way. I can get. I got this. Yep. It's fine. Yep. <laughs> I feel like that's been kind of the funny thing between him and Brandon. They. They come in and then it's still like they I mean they I mean we learned it earlier too, right? They play the parts in a couple of times, but it's still been funny to watch them because anyone who knows I play all by ear. It's totally in these. He guys mostly does what he's, he's trying, trying to say is he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to some degree I just play totally from the ear, totally from the heart. And these guys know I play mostly alone. And so when I bring them in, they have to look at my and I play everything upside down and weird tunings because it's all by ear. And so these guys have to constantly upside down and with a capo on for yeah, yeah. <laughs> maximum effect. Upside down, weird tunings, capo. And then I play in different, like even when I sent him the songs this week, I was like, yeah, these are the songs, but they're in different keys and they're in different tempos and they're with different. So yeah, yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. all the originals are not so original anymore. Yeah. So, they're original every time. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we should hear a song. Yeah, so if we want to start that, we can certainly do yeah. that. I I'll let him get ready a little bit. Let's um, do that. The first song we're going to do, um, we've done before on the show. Tonight, I'm actually super excited. Um, as much as I was excited about Brandon, I saw Brandon was on. Hey, Brandon. Um, yes, Justin does look... Um, he looks smitten. <laughs> what a great um, shirt. Just as excited as I get when I have some of my most talented friends on, um, I'm always looking to sort of test new song so i you know like brandon kind of gave me the sort of the enthusiasm to want to go out and do a few new songs when he was on and so this week i feel like this is either new interpretations of songs that we played or just let's run a bunch of new songs so tonight is kind of like a total improv night for me um with justin so we'll see how it goes could be great yeah. could be whoa so, so what you're saying is basically, basically there's going to be a complete new set list tonight, basically. It is. So, some new things. Yeah. Yeah. So even this one that we're about to do, I've played it before. It's called World of Wonder. Um, but I just really do have this love affair with um, Upright Bass. And um, Brandon knows this when he's been recording um, the stuff with keyboards and some string parts and all of that. Um, but um, Justin's going to play some um, bow parts here actually in a minute. 
um, and we did them at rehearsal, and it was really amazing. Um, so we'll see if we can pull it off right here. But this is called World of Wonder, um, and we're going to try it with some bowed parts, and then we're going to kind of go from there. So we'll see cool. how it goes. Sunlight's all around me That goes in my mind Cause all these things that we've done These people we become What should we do differently? And as our time goes by Reasons why lost in the memory, cause every day pulls the questions, it always fills my mind, and every day show me the answers, different signs. Every night that I find Look up in the sky I see all of the different stars And fill my mind with wonder It's all these things that we've done People we become, what should we do differently? And as our time goes by, reasons why lost in the memory. Cause every day pulls the questions, it always fill my mind.
Cause every day pulls a question It always fill my mind And every day you show me the answers Different signs Every day I'm filled with wonder Cause every day I'm filled with wonder You keep me asking why Look at that. One song <laughs> in the bag. That That's was right, cool. Jeff. World of Wonder. That's all we got. So. A favorite. Oh, well. <laughs> good. Thanks for checking it out. <laughs> That's sweet. Um, we got commenters mostly just taunting um, from our favorite person, Michael. He wants to know when everyone gets their own vest. <laughs> That's true. Why don't you? I'm saying they're being sewn now, but that is false. There's actually no more vests available at this time. They're all masks. And you should know better, Michael. They're being made into oh. masks. No vests. Mm -hmm. so, Looks like Brandon was into it. Yeah. He was telling me to give more gain to the base, so I fixed that issue <laughs> while you all were playing. That's nice. that just tech wonders back here, you know? That's right. Um, and that brings me to the next point, which is this is brought to you by Taylor Wines. Taylor Wines, <laughs> get you some. That's right. David told me to do that, so <laughs> it's all his fault. Yep. Noth you got nothing on that? I know. No one say it. Uh, dude, he Good just agrees. Yeah. He can't get enough of that Taylor wine. I cannot. Anyway, it can be sent to 2233 um, <laughs> Miranda Avenue. <laughs> I accept. Your wine. I will not sell it on eBay. I will keep it for myself. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Well, are we are we moving? Are we going further with more songs right now? Or I think what? we should. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, which what's what's the next tune we're going to get into? Um, I think we're going to do the truth is. Ooh, the truth is. Mm -hmm. This is um, 
one that I remember because I play brushes on it typically. You did. I I did. Maybe it's a rock ballad now. I don't know. It, it looks so like many rock iterations. Tonight, isn't it? So tonight it'll be a nice little acoustic romp between um, Justin and uh, Dave McGlynn, the host of the show, who almost blanked on his name because I'm an idiot. <laughs> what a dummy over here. So yeah. anyway, give us give us a like. The 15 second background story version of what the truth is is for you today. What's well, I think the for truth me today, today is um, with Justin coming on, I just thought about the different songs that I've always liked the um, acoustic upright bass for. Um, and Justin and I have tried some of these songs in the past when we've been at the house. And so I thought, gosh, if we could record some of these, kind of test them out again, it'd be like awesome. So, yeah, this is. Some of this is actually for me to for me tonight because I'm like, oh my gosh, I love playing with Justin. So to get him and we're recording it all, so it's just a treat for me. So hopefully some of the people out there listening or some of the folks that couldn't tune in can tune in later to hear it. But I think it's going to be, um, yeah, so I'll just do that. Absolutely. Okay, here's the truth is. I'm not going to lie. I just kind of walked away for a second there. <laughs> and I got I was caught off guard by the end of the song because I was so immersed in it before that. I know that, Jeff. And I was trying to fix the camera angle. 
Oh my God, we've been exposed. <laughs> so anyway, the truth is, and you, what, you said, what was your truth today? That Justin was here? Yeah, Justin's here. Okay, what about some other truths? Spread some truth on us. Mm -hmm. Well, the next one's going to be a new one we've never done before. Well, I don't know if that's the truth, Dave. Do you have any more truths to put on us? I have no more truths for, you, for us tonight, Jeff. <sighs> well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the real truth right there. That could be the truth. What did we have? A Pinot Noir. We did. We had a whetstone tonight. A whetstone. That was delicious. I also had a film noir angle last week. And I don't think it really came off that well. People like the black and white, I guess, but I don't know. Uh, we're still trying here. We're on a macaroni and cheese budget over here, and we're trying to be Jeff Ruby's, so it's tough. We're still working it out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, what? okay, what's the next song? Yeah, so it's uh, one that I put out a few years ago on um, In Pursuit of an Authentic Life. Um, Which is available on Spotify, iTunes, all of the major platforms. You can go listen to it at any point. Thank you. Go ahead and say more about it. That's correct, Jeff. <laughs> um, thank you for that plug. No um, problem. So it's, your, it's your own show, so we can plug anything at any time. <laughs> but continue. I don't think we've. I don't think I've ever played this one out live. So oh, this really? Is like the first time. What, okay. So, yeah. So what's the name of the song? It's called uh, "Found a Way." Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll have to see how it I goes. Like it. Michael wants it on Napster. He does. So, mm. We can try to get it on Napster. He's a stealer, later. just taking money out of the pockets of musicians. That's fine, Michael. What's really funny is there's this, like, when I was a kid, there was this show called Drake and Josh, and the title song was called Found a Way. <laughs> <laughs> Did they find a way? Yeah, it's like, but it's completely different. It's yeah, this will be a little different. I'm sure it'll be much more sad. So <laughs> <laughs> It may be a little sad, Jeff. That's okay. Oh, and this is the tuning sequence, which is brought to you by Turkey Hill Gas Stations. Turkey Hill, get you some sweet tea inside and some gas at the pump. I don't even know if that's a real thing. I feel like I heard about it once and they had some weird tea inside. I think it's a Kroger thing. I don't know. It seems right. It felt right to me. It was probably wrong in retrospect. Oh, you're tuned? <laughs> I is think that, I am you got it? Okay, I'm cool. Oh, we can hear songs now and I can shut up. Okay. So here we go. Found yeah. a way. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna love it. Here we go. Yeah, we'll see if I love it. to imagine that you're no longer here in my life it's been over three years since you walked out and left our whole life behind with regrets moments and what ifs moments that you wished that I was back in your life Sometimes I wonder Life turned out The way that you planned All you imagined You found what you were after And your regrets Moments and what ifs Moments that you wished Moments and I was back in your life you walked away, found a way, let you go and never look back. You walked away, found a way, let you go and never look back. The hardest thing I had ever done, I realized I'd let you down so many times before. You walked away, found a way. You walked away, found a way. Tried to make it last, could not make it back to the place it started. But no, no. Tried to make it last, could not make it back to the 
place he had started and we lost it all and we lost it all and we lost it all any regrets moments and what ifs moments that you wished that I was back in your life great all right there it is Jeff that's That's right so new one for the show which is everyone but the first one (laughs) so there's just more new stuff that you haven't heard well, maybe you've heard it before. If you're Fawn and I, you've definitely heard it many <laughs> times. Fawn probably holds the current world record of hearing the songs. Probably. Yep, I would say you probably heard them more than just about anybody on <laughs> planet Earth. Poor girl, you poor girl. <laughs> but you can listen to them as many times as you want on Spotify or um, Bandcamp, Bandcamp. Where, where we are releasing everything you hear on this show on Bandcamp. Sometimes if Papal, that's me, Jeff, doesn't get to it soon enough, it comes out a little late, which is the case for this week. I've been pretty much on track for a week <laughs> later, but that didn't happen because I have a full-time job, so I have to do other things. But, that's right, Jeff. you know, that's boring stuff. Let's get back to the music. What, what are we doing? Where are we, where are we going? What are we doing? So I think this next one, um, I think we're going to try... Um, I think we should try what you were going to try with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, you know, every time I have somebody on, we try to have them do a version of some songs that they want to do. Can I tell uh, kind of the backstory on it? You sure can. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, you're okay, good. Cool. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I'm from Dayton, Ohio. and I, I also graduated, graduated in Dayton. Dayton. We, yeah, we have a connection there. That's, that's also why we got off so much. That's right. But... There's this. Uh, there used to be this festival every summer called City Folk Festival. Oh yeah. And my mom, who's a chef, she got to be the uh, the chef for all the uh, the musicians coming into town. And so I got to hang out and uh, I played violin at the time and like hang out with all these musicians. And I wasn't, you know, I didn't really know a lot of them and I didn't really know a lot about violin at the time. But you know, my mom really encouraged me to like go to these like bluegrass jam sessions that happen at the festival and other things like that. And at the time, though, I was really into like Led Zeppelin, and my best friend, he was, you know, he was really into like punk rock music, and his family was really into punk rock music. But anyway, that particular year, uh, the headlining artist was Ralph Stanley, and I didn't know who Ralph Stanley was. I just like I kept remembering my family saying like, "Oh yeah, Ralph Stanley, we're gonna go see him." I was like, "Who is Ralph Stanley? Like, I don't know this person." Uh, but my mom's like, "Yeah, he's, you know, he's he's the real deal." And it wasn't until my friend, my best friend, who's this punk guy, his family, who's just full, you know, they love punk music. They're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go see Ralph Stanley, you know, because he's the real deal. I was like, man, you know, like, these punk rock musicians are saying Ralph Stanley, who's this bluegrass musician, is the real deal, and I gotta gotta check him out. But uh, because my mom's a chef, you know, he, the day he was here uh, in Dayton, he uh, was eating and everything, and my mom introduced me to him, and I got to play for him, and he was just the nicest guy. And he, when he performed that day, he did this tune, this really old tune called uh, Oh Death, which is actually, he recorded it. Uh, have you ever seen the movie Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? He's in it, he sings in it, uh, but he, uh, his recording of that tune is on it. But this particular uh, performance, he also did that tune. And I remember him singing it just vocals. There was no... Uh, oh, really? You didn't yeah. tell me that earlier. Yeah. yeah, there was no instruments. It was just his voice. Hmm. It was amazing. It was the whole, it was like, there was so much emotion in what he was playing. And I mean, it was just like, my, my mom used to say this a lot when I was a kid about people of like, you know, who are that status is like, you know, these people are American treasures and they're not going to be around that much longer. So we got to see them. And the fact that like, you know, everybody knew that Ralph Stanley was an American treasure. And that to me was like, okay. I gotta go see it. I gotta go see it. Mm-hmm. Even as like an eight or a nine or ten year old, you know, if everyone's like, "This is it," then I'm like, "Okay, I, I, I understand it." Yeah. Um, so it was cool. And then the other reason I want to play this tune, "Oh Death," is because last week was Charlie Hayden's birthday, and Charlie Hayden was this 
super famous bass player. Uh, he played with Ornette Coleman in the 50s and 60s, and then he's also, he's from the Ozarks in Missouri, and he grew up playing these little radio shows of, uh, you know, folk and bluegrass mm -hmm. music, and, you know, he started uh, the, you know, music program in Los Angeles at this famous school called Cal Arts, and he's recorded with a lot of people. He's, I mean, Pat Metheny, he played with Pat Metheny for so long, and he has his own things, and he, uh, he talked about how uh, influenced he was by Ralph Stanley and a lot of his playing, a lot of the bluegrass people, even though he's primarily known as a jazz bassist. It just, you know, it goes to show, it showed me that uh, everything is connected. Yeah. You can't play jazz without root, roots yeah. music somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. In, yeah. And uh, so this is a tune, this is called uh, Oh Death, which is, <laughs> it's not the most happiest <laughs> title, but. Up, right up my he's alley, gonna, though. Yeah, he's going to lift you up through it, though. Okay. Oh, Death by Ralph Stanley. Yeah, that was awesome. 
Ralph Stanley, O oh Death, which is amazing. I mean, it's like, I, I guess I could see like the dirge like quality to it. It's not like a, a droney kind of like free. Oh, I mean, I'm sure the original is different, but I almost asked you if that was from O oh Brother, Where Art Thou oh, yeah. earlier because I was like, that sounds so familiar and that must have been where I heard it. It's funny because I heard him play it. Yeah, that's super cool, and I like I like where you took it took it to the moon, man. <laughs> cool, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So, what was it like to improvise underneath that, Dave? That is not something you do very often. No. I, I just kind of like from a person that improvises all the time in life and in music. <laughs> um, I don't get uncomfortable in those moments, and I know Justin and I are very trained in, in improvisation, but, like, it's it's kind of a cool thing to talk about because, like, what was that like to be like, okay, I'm kind of, like, going to put something underneath this Yeah, so an hour thing. ago when you guys – we were talking about it a couple hours ago. I was, like, petrified. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> the thing – Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got him lubed up, and then he did it. No, but I will say, like, <laughs> to what you're saying um, – there is a certain level of like, I mean, you guys come over and like, you guys help me out with all my stuff and almost everything you do with me to some degree initially is improv, right? Because yeah. I don't ask you guys to play your parts. I just give you a key and you guys then kind of do your thing. And it's actually what I love about all of you, Jeff, whether it's your drumming, Brandon's guitar playing, what you do. Mm -hmm. And every time I feel like it, especially in these live moments, it's different. And it's what I adore about you guys. Yeah. And it's why I actually love playing with you guys and coming to do these moments i really look forward to them yeah but then when you flip it on its head it's like deer in the headlights yeah well i mean <laughs> what i would say though to you and and the thing that i think a lot of people have to get over to play any improvised music even if it's not jazz you know you can improvise anything is that it's kudos to you for for just going for it that's oh, half the battle yeah, I'm just you guys asked trying to, to start so, i mean you know He's been, they've been playing longer than I've been alive. <laughs> okay. Is that a joke or a no? That's a real life fact. It's a sign of respect. You know, yeah, I know. No, no, I got you. I, you know, I yeah. Dave was going to kill it. Yeah. But I mean, all, jo all joking aside, I mean, about even that, I mean, Brent, I mean, uh, Justin and I have talked about this, right? Yeah. Like in our car rides, even up to Columbus, we even were talking about it over dinner. Justin and I always seem to talk about this thing, like this continuity of like the next thing, like, who he's influenced by, what we listen to. It's this really interesting conversation. I feel like Justin and I will have this thing, which I really appreciate. I mean, you bring these people into my life for a reason, Jeffrey, but yeah. I do think that Justin and I always seem to always get, I mean, you know, get on these things in the end. Right? Well, maybe we're both romantics. Yeah. I think we are both That's probably true, end. yeah. That's what, that's, what, that's what drew me to the music. Yeah, yeah the, me too. I mean, to your point, I mean, I feel like that's part of when I... Uh, finally decided to be a songwriter just not just play music but actually try to put it out there it's so raw yeah. sometimes right to put your lyrics and your music out there. i mean so, i think yeah i think you're right you even said it about some of the songs you're like it's all about your lyrics but it's yeah. so true yeah, yeah. well and, and then like for justin and i for sure it's like we're always the background people that support drummer and bass player and, and dave being a bass player understands this too it's just like if you can find somebody with that kind of music that can reach people it's like you're on board because you're like you're you're being reached just like everybody else is it's just like you get to be a part of it and get to be in the background and that's really gratifying like yeah because you can see like with your like with like your set of music you can see it like touch people immediately and then the room gets connected um like in a very fast pace and then everyone's connected you know what i mean it's like and then, it, and then it just becomes like a whole unifying event, like meet the shows. Yeah. Not saying that it doesn't happen in jazz, but it's like, you know, most of the time it takes, you know, a little bit of time for everything to digest and everyone to come together. But, you know, with your lyrics and everything, and how the songs are struck, uh, constructed and just, uh, you know, how you put it together, it's like, man, people get right in like that. Yeah. And, uh, but I do think that you guys get it too, though. Yeah. Because I do feel like, you really do try to like listen to the parts and oh, play yeah. things. And it's like a, if Timmy was on, you would say this, but I mean, there is a sort of a heartbeat breathing moment with you, with, with, when you guys play with me. So, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So what, what are we moving towards? Yeah. Speaking of that. So this is kind of like a brand new one that I kind of written in the last couple months. 
This one's really cool. Yeah, this is the one that he's excited about. <laughs> <That's sweet. laughs> No, I didn't mean like up to this point it's been just okay, but he's <laughs> ready to get right now, you know, forty six minutes into the show, ready to go. Oh man, what is Yeah, no, yeah. we've been having a great time. Oh my gosh. No, I will say though, for this one, I mean I definitely had Brandon in mind actually, because as I'm everyone knows that I'm in the process of finishing a uh, one record that I've done with these guys, but um now I'm actually getting ready to do a whole other record. And I already have more songs for that, and this could be one of them. So I just a scary on. prospect. Yeah. So this. So, anyways, <laughs> this one's called um, "Close My Eyes" or "Close Your Eyes." I don't even know yet, right? We're kind of working it out. Close my eyes or close your eyes. Yeah. Maybe. I think it's really close my eyes. That's close my eyes on the sheet here. In fact, it's so new, Jeffrey. It's actually still in handwritten form on the notepad. So That's we'll see. Fun. And I keep moving the key around. So, but anyways, let's try it out, right, Justin? Yeah. Cool. Close your eyes. Close my eyes. We don't know yet. Working title. Sounds good. Right. All right. You guys can tell me what you think when it's done. Close my eyes. Cause when I close my eyes. 
eyes All right, so there it is, the debut. Super stoked, love that bass part. <laughs> That's right. So when you close your eyes, what are you seeing? I see your smile. Mm. <laughs> I didn't listen to the part after that, so the answer was in there, but ooh. Was that Brandon who put the guitar part down on that as well? Yeah. Oh no, on the demo that I sent yeah. you, it was all me. That was all you Yeah, did. it's mental. He does a bunch oh. of stuff in GarageBand in here, and it's pretty, it's like some, it's some gymnastics. Oh, no. GarageBand oh, I gymnastics. Know, right? Thanks. That's the guitar you sold me. Right. There we go. <laughs> See, it is. It is like we're, we're in a loop. <laughs> Just little heirlooms that come over here, and then David makes weird music on it. I do. I make some crazy weird music. So, how many tunes do we have left? I think like two. Okay. Yeah. Two. I think we just let's just play it out. We got a we got about two right. songs yeah, worth of two minutes quick, left. Of okay, tuning. This is where I talk because tuning. It, Oh, next week, I'm already, like, we are foreshadowing next week because we have Mr. Mark Brewing commenting on the stream, and we will bring Mark Brewing into the room onto the blue couch, which is on the other screen that I am not on. But there's a blue couch behind me. It's a different one. Um, yeah. So Mark will be here, and that'll be cool because he will be playing some of his music. And we'll be playing some of Dave Muse. Oh my God! Can't believe it. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. But Mark will be here, and we will be playing tons of music and making funny, fun jokes and just little laughters and fun and magic. And I'm gonna bring confetti. I didn't tell anybody that, but now they know. I'm gonna bring confetti and I'm gonna throw it in Fawn's house, and she's gonna love it. Fawn, are you gonna love the confetti? She can't wait for the confetti. I'm going to throw confetti in their house and see how long it takes to get rid of. It'll probably take probably weeks. Oh, are you done tuning? I sure am, buddy. Oh, that's My good because friend. I'm going to bring confetti to your house. Good. That's great. Okay, let's hear the next song. Okay. So uh, this one I played a couple times, but again, I've always loved what um, what Brandon got. What Justin has um Get it together, on. David. I know. i got to get this together. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I wanted to do it. Um, for people watching tonight. So it's called Hallelujah. Um, I actually, this is a personal favorite. I like this one a lot. Oh, and it has no drums in it, so that's how good it is. It <laughs> has a rain stick. That's how good it is. Oh, yeah, my bad. Rain stick and tambourine, maybe. Okay, yeah, here we go. Great, right? Hallelujah. Grateful, and I got to love you. I'm 
I'm singing hallelujah. I'm singing hallelujah. Cause when I look back on this time, I'm sure I know I'll find that you were the one who made me see. You're my hallelujah Cause you're my Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah indeed. That's right. Always such a pretty song. I agree. A perfect song to put on an album for your beautiful wife. That's right, Jeff. You know? <laughs> if that it just made all the sense in the world, really. She was into it. It had a beautiful cover too. The artwork was great. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, cheers and it looks like a glass of bourbon. That'll do. Yeah, that's good. Um, this is another tuning portion of the evening. <laughs> this is where Jeff takes over the mic and he just like Thanks, ben. on slots, which it's just awful. And and look at that. Dave is multitasking by simultaneously paying attention <laughs> to the screen and like the tuning. Over, I'll give you that. So it this might affect the tuning, which means I'll have to go in and edit each string individually, which is very difficult. I actually have no idea, idea how to do that, and I don't think that's even possible. There's a program called Melodyne, and this next segment is brought to you by Melodyne, <laughs> something Dave Usel is – oh, my God. I can't talk tonight. Oh, God. It's so bad. Ste okay. Stephanie, it would be nice for him to write a song about his wife. Oh, okay. Now I'm, get, uh, now I'm getting hated on. I'm also <laughs> clipping because I'm yelling, but – he it's should be a, yelling, right, Steph? It's a dang mess over here. Um, dearest Stephanie Bacher, my amazing wife, has commented <laughs> and would, said it would be nice if I wrote a song about uh, about her. But the, here's the issue. I don't write songs. I write drum beats. And I um, do stuff like this. So um, if you want a fatty 808 beat, I got you covered. I can do that. I got AbletonLive.com. Dot com. It's not even a dot com. It's a program. I'm just a complete <laughs> yes. mess. I need to I get know. off the screen. Let's do the last song. What Look is it, Dave? Yeah. So again, <laughs> I guess we. Again, thanks for everybody to tune in tonight. We're super appreciative. Um, yeah, I roll indeed, Steph. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> so I want to thank everybody for tuning in and listening. I was super appreciative of all that. <laughs> and um, yeah, Jeff. 
Do you want to say any final words? We'll say some final words at the end, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, just thanks to Justin for being here and being such a great friend to both of us. And it's nice to, I mean, honestly, like from the bottom of my heart, it's like it kind of sucks to not see your jazz friends as much as you <laughs> are used to because we run into each other at each other's gigs. We run into each other playing. We So like to, to just be in the same room as somebody that I adore is just a great feeling. Dave, I get to see all the time, so I'm like kind of over it. <laughs> but like for, for Justin being here, that we really appreciate it, and it's he always makes the music that much better. And yeah, we get to hang out and have dinner and all that, so yeah. it's all good. Yeah, yeah. It's super fun. Hey, that's, the, the best part of it. that's right. Yeah. So I feel like we're gonna try another one, another relatively new one. Cool, and this will be the final it song will be. this evening. What is it named? It's called Tell Me. Okay. I don't know this one. <laughs> Justin doesn't even know it. It's an improvisation. No, it. yeah, Here so we go. Great. Wow. About it. Amazing. Okay. Here we go. Well, I am done talking about it. The words you've said have made me doubt it. Hearts on fire and my head is crowded With thoughts of us all broken and crumbled The time has come To tell me how you really feel I've come undone From the way that you've treated me Tell me how you really feel Cause I don't want to go without Tell me how you really feel My heart is filled with doubt I look around but I can't seem to find you Slipped away and into the darkness Lost to me and my heart is drowning Memories of things that'll be forgotten Time has come To tell me how you really feel I've come undone From the way that you've treated me Tell me how you really feel Cause I don't want to go without Tell me how you really feel My heart is filled with doubt And tell me how you really feel Cause I don't want to go without And tell me how you really feel My heart is filled with doubt Cause I know it's time I can't read your mind You gotta give me a sign Our time is quickly slipping away You've got nothing left to say What is there left to believe You can't say it to me Time has come To tell me how you really feel Come on, done From the way that you've treated me Tell me how you really feel Cause I don't want to go without Tell me how you really feel My heart is filled with doubt Tell me how you really feel Cause I don't want to go without Tell me how you really feel My heart is filled with doubt Cause I know it's time I can read your mind You gotta give me a sign
And that is all she wrote. So again, thanks to my dear friend, Justin Dawson, for coming on. I just love him to death Thank you, man. <laughs> for obvious reasons. And so I'm so happy that he was able to join us tonight. You can always hear it on the rebroadcast and on the mix in a couple weeks when we get it onto Bandcamp. That's right. But in the meantime, thank you, Mark. Um, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for everybody who joined tonight. I saw Barbara. I saw Ben. I saw a bunch of folks. Cliff, Cliff and Amy. Amy. Stephanie. Stephanie. Bob Holly. I didn't even see some of those folks. Apparently, I have to go home and write a song, so thanks for that. Jeff, you need to go home every week and write a song. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I do want to say that I'm super appreciative for all of you coming on, as you, most of you do every week. Appreciate seeing everyone, and hopefully we'll see some of you next week. Mark Growing's on. He's got some of originals. that will be like premiere broadcast for Mark, so no pressure, Mark. Looking forward to hearing those. Um, Alan, we'll see you soon, and um, thanks, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night.